Throughout the world, it is estimated that every 30 seconds, one limb is amputated due to diabetes. In 85% of these cases, an open wound on the foot or a diabetic foot ulcer will have been the initial event prior to the amputation. As you might well imagine, losing a leg or having a foot ulcer can have a dramatic impact on not only the person affected, their family members, but also has a huge costly burden on society as a whole. For the past three years, my PhD has focused on investigating these factors and complications of diabetes which manifest in the lower limb. I wanted to know who had a foot ulcer, who had an amputation, and who subsequently died after. And I also wanted to know what level of deprivation they were exposed to right here in Greater Glasgow and Clyde. So how did I manage this? Well, I had information for 112,231 individuals, each with a diagnosis of diabetes. I was then able to extract special codes from GP records, hospital admissions, and the National Death Registry. Then, using special software, I was able to map these findings. And the results for each outcome assessed showed a similar trend. And that was that they were not evenly dispersed across the health board. High levels of the event of ulceration, amputation, and subsequent death tended to cluster around areas of high deprivation. These hotspots are demonstrated by the red zones on the larger map on the slide. In contrast to this, low levels of the event, or cold spots, are uh, clustered around areas where we're, which were much more affluent in the health board. And these are represented by the blue zones on the larger map. So what does this actually mean for us? Well, this is evidence of a clear health inequality for individuals who have diabetes in NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde. These findings are so significant in terms of future planning for the diabetes service and actually identifying who needs help the most. So there you have it, saving lives and saving limbs. And it has been my study which has navigated this step forward. Thank you.